Now, before you guys say anything, no, I am not a commentary channel. However, in theme of Halloween, I'm back with story time in the same within two weeks. I know, it's pretty crazy. With that being said, hey, what's going on, geeks? Max and Beast is here, and welcome back to story time. And in the theme of Halloween, I'm going to be telling you some of my favorite and craziest Halloween memories. So with that being said, um, right off the bat, be sure, if you want to see more story time, to hit the like button. I don't know why, but I feel like I need to start saying that now, to remind you to hit the like button. <laughs> anyway, rambling aside, let's get into the stories. So my first story comes from when I was in first grade. Oh, what a wonderful year. When trick-or-treating was still fun and legal in my county for someone like me, and when all the kids were very excited about candy. I mean, everybody still is, but let's be honest. It was even more so when we were kids. Um, at our school, we were able to dress up for Halloween about the day or so before. Remember, this was a Friday, October 30th. Uh, Halloween came on a Saturday that year. So, we decided, well, I decided to dress up like a doctor. Everybody else dressed up like their favorite movie character or TV show character, even something out of books, military. Everybody had dressed up as something super exciting. Someone was a clone trooper from Star Wars, which I was very jealous of. Because at the time, I was... I'm a Star Wars nerd now, but I was an even bigger one when I was in first grade. If it makes any sense. I read all the Clone Wars books. The easy reader stuff. I was a big Star Wars nerd, and I was very jealous of this one kid who had a clone, had a clone trooper outfit. And I was jealous of another kid who had a really cool looking Darth Maul costume. So, here I am as a doctor. And we go to take school pictures in front of the school. We have, of course, we did the little version of trick-or-treating in the school where we would go to the different classrooms and get candy from people. The teachers would give out candy. It was nice. But after that, we all went outside to take a school picture while everyone was in costume. I, I remember sitting down on the grass next to a couple friends. My friend dressed up like a police officer. And another one of my friends dressed up like... What was, what was her name? I can't remember. It's a Disney princess. It's that one from the Princess and the Frog. Not, not princess. What was that? What was that movie? It had a frog in it. It'll come to me eventually. I don't think it was Princess and Frog. Because that came out after I was in first grade. Anyway. Um, she was dressed up as some Disney princess. Um, and here I am as a doctor with a stethoscope and a few other props. We take the picture. Nothing really happens. I remember some kid got punched in the face because the kid who punched him was an avid Star Trek fan. He was dressed up as Spock. And the kid that he punched said he didn't like Star Trek. He wasn't dressed up as Star Wars, surprisingly. He was dressed up as Jack Sparrow. <laughs> so it was very interesting to see Spock punch Jack Sparrow in the face, something you'd think you'd never see. Anyway, so apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently there was a costume contest going on where they would pick one winner per grade for the best costume. And without me knowing, I had been nominated for first grade's best costume. Which kind of surprised me. And when I found out. And apparently, I won. I was ecstatic. I w that was the happiest I had been in quite some time. I mean, I was normally a happy kid, but I was super happy to the point where I was literally bouncing off the walls. It was awesome. 
the big prize for winning was you get a huge bag of candy. Like one of those massive bags of candy filled with the individual packages of like M&M, Skittles, Snickers, and stuff like that. It was awesome. But they thought that the doctor outfit was very creative and very cool. So, yeah, that was awesome. My next story actually happened last year. So, a church nearby my house in the village was having a trunk or treat thing. Where, if you don't know what trunk or treat is, it's where people decorate their cars for Halloween, put candy in the back, and they distribute candy. That, that's how they do it. It's really, it's really cool. But the church was having it, and my parents had volunteered to help out. Um, I decided I was going to go with them. However, two days before, I came down with Pink Eye. So there's no way in heck I'm going. I, I had made my own little Plague Doctor costume that I was going to wear for that night and scare the crap out of some little kids. <laughs> I was excited about that. Call me what you want, but hey, if you were in that position, I think you guys would. Somebody out there would. Anyway, I dress up like a plague doctor, but but mom's like, no, there's no way in heck you are going with pink eye. How long is it time to give candy, not diseases? Okay, fine. So, I I stay home. I actually, that was the day I had finished downloading on my Mac, um, the game, Sir, You Are Being Hunted, and I played that for basically the entirety of while they were gone, but I kept most of the costume on, my cloak, my dark, my dark shirt, my dark pants, um, I had kept most of my costume on, so I get a text about two hours later saying, we just served our last kid. About 700 people had come through, which was absolutely insane, <laughs> insanely awesome. It was great that so many people came out that night, but you know, I was very bummed that I couldn't scare some kids and at least get some candy myself. But I get the text saying we'll be home in about five or six minutes. Okay, so I have some time to prepare. I pause my game, and I get my mask and hat on I go downstairs and I stand in the kitchen turn off all the lights in the house okay all the lights are off I just stand in the kitchen kitchen facing one direction you see our house the living room is divided off from the kitchen by a pair of French doors I stood right in front of the French doors looking straight towards the stove if you look towards the stove you're gonna see anybody's coming into the room so, I hear the garage door open, um, I see, well, I hear my dog run outside, then about a minute or so later, my parents walk in. So, my parents don't even, don't even notice me, they turn on the kitchen lights and stuff, they don't notice me, which is a win for me, because I could, if I, if I could be stealthy, this could very well work. You know, if I'm not going to be able to scare some kids, I'm going to scare my parents. So, my dad walks in, he puts something on the kitchen counter, then he walks back out. My, then both of them walk in around the same time. This was perfect. I'm still 100% silent. My mom turns around and lets out this horrid scream. And my dad turns around like, what the heck just happened? Then he sees me. <laughs> he, he looked physically startled, but then he started laughing because he knew it was me. And th that was just great to just scare, just scare somebody, period. Because, you know, it was very few times during the year that you really get to have the option and, ch and chance to scare somebody without them getting too upset with you. And Halloween is a great time for that.
My next story comes from last night, or from yesterday, which was October 31st. Um, my the school I attend now has a similar thing to my old school, where on Halloween, or at least a day close to it, you can dress up. I still have the Plague Doctor outfit, and if anybody who goes to my, to my school is watching this video, you guys will understand why I love Plague Doctors. Um, essentially the gist of it is, my history teacher a few years ago made me write a 10 page essay on the Black Death, and ever since then I've been hooked on diseases, on studying disease. It was something that i just become passionate about. It was really cool. So, I decided this year, hey, I still have this Plague Doctor costume. I can dress up as it. So... I go into school, just as a plague doctor. And the responses I get were awesome. People were super happy, to were super supportive of my choice of costume, and seemed <laughs> that they laughed. They thought it was funny that e even now I'm still dressing up like a plague doctor. Still super interested in the plague, in, in disease period. So, I show my history teacher, I just walk into class, just completely silent. I don't make a noise. And most of the kids were already there, my teacher was already starting to talk to, talk to them about their homework assignment. Well, here's the big thing. That she didn't know I came in. Some of the kids are pointing, and just some of them just had like a big smile on their face. I walk in. I just take my seat. My teacher, she's like, "Oh my gosh, what is that, you Max?" I nod. Oh my gosh, that is awesome! I love that costume. I thank her. And we continue on the day. And throughout the day, I got various responses from different teachers. Well, last night, the same church that I was talking about in the last story was having the trunk or treat once again. So, since I, didn't, since I did not have pink eye this time, I could go. I get my costume back on, and we head out. The responses of people were priceless, and I did manage to scare some kid. This kid was dressed up like a werewolf, and I had turned my back to everybody else, so I'm wearing dark clothes, right? It's very dark outside because time's changing. It's 7, seven at night, so it's kind of dark. So you can't really tell what you're bumping into. This kid about, looks about seven or eight, walks over and bumps into me. I slowly and ominously turn around. He lets out the biggest scream I think I've ever heard. And I felt kind of bad because I petrified him, but at the same time, I was... I had finally scared somebody. And it felt great. Call, call me a psychotic purse if you want. But sometimes it's just great to scare somebody. You know? But then this guy who's in the medical field himself walks over to me and says, Do you know what that outfit represents? Well, sir, it's a plague doctor outfit. Yes, but do you know what it represents? Um, yes, sir, there was a painting quite a while ago about the title The Birdman where a plague doctor is drawn, and they would, you know, he's like, yes. Do you know what the plague doctors did? Yes, they attempted to treat people who had plague. Yes. I am very grateful that kids these days still learn about disease and about the plague. Then with that, he turns around and walks away. 
And I felt even better now because somebody actually recognized my costume. And you know, when you dress up as somebody from history like that, you don't really expect that much of a response. But I got one. Someone actually rec recognized my costume. And it felt awesome. My last story actually relates to gaming. Where a couple years ago, I had just gotten TF2. And this is one of my fondest memories of gaming, period. I had hooked up with a friend. We were going to play the Halloween event for TF2. We played for quite a bit. I remember I got my first ever strange item by trading with somebody in that server. I remember I felt really awesome after that. But we we had to fight the character Merasmus, who is, if you don't know, if you don't know TF2, who is a giant, just a massive wizard. And during the Halloween event, either he or the Headless Horseman will spawn in, and players on both teams will have to work together to take him down. Well, he spawns in a total of 15 times during that game. Each time, my team and myself had to work together and take him out. It felt awesome to work together like that. Just to see the both sides, red and blue, work together to take down a common goal. It just felt awesome to do that. I remember seeing or well, completing my first contract and how excited I was to do that. This is just a mash of some of my mo favorite moments from the whole event. I felt it felt like a totally different experience to play together like this, play a game like this. Keep in mind, I was still playing on my old Mac, so I was running about sure I was running about 50, 60 frames, but at horrible settings. Here on P on the better PC. I can run it over 100 frames. Gameplay here might be a little bit slowed down, but still, I can run it very well. But it's the game I've put, put most time in. I have 400 some hours in TF2. And I've loved every moment of it. But the Halloween event just stood out to me. Completing contracts, doing things with friends, it felt great. And it was great. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry if you were expecting a, another gameplay video. Don't worry. I will be continuing gameplays down the pike and very soon. The next video I post will be gameplay related. I promise. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. And as always, be sure to subscribe for future content. And as I said at the start, be sure to like the video if you want to see more story times. Anyway, guys, with that being said, thanks again for watching, and as always, Max the Beast is out.